One two slider and he somehow. Ball four. Two. Ball four. Base is loaded. Garcia a chopper over the mound. This will score at least a run and the Sox get it out on Garcia's. That strike three of Bender into the zone. And See that that one's got to be a strike. This is what gets me is we love the computer so much, right? Well, according to the computer numbers, that pitch is a ball. And it's a perfect illustration, once again, if you've been with us for a long time, of how the computer doesn't know what it's doing on the vertical strike zone in real time. We have to wait for post-game processing to adjudicate this pitch properly as a ball. He walked him. 3-0 Milwaukee on four walks in the inning, and that ties a season high nine walks for the Sox. As we wait for LaRusa to come out of the dugout, I want you to notice where and who he goes to first. Obviously, here's a pitch that's outside. We don't have post-game processing on the horizontal location, just vertical. Still not out of the inning. And that's just two batters, so Tony LaRusa is going to have a conversation with Ryan Burr here. I think he wants to talk with John Lipka. Time to get your eyesight checked because that's Dan I. Sonia. You should not be going to a crew chief to argue about a youngster on the crew. I'm surprised that I. Sonia didn't eject him here for doing just that, but I digress. If you haven't seen the computer strike zone discussions that we've had, please do because there's a wealth of knowledge in there that will enable you to understand what I was talking about earlier. I mean, look, there have been some some calls that could have gone the other way tonight that looked like they were in the zone and weren't called and now Tony's going to get rung by Lipka and I think when John goes back and watches he'll realize there were some key misses here. Actually I'm glad you brought that up because John will get information from the league after this game about all these pitches and the league will tell him that he got the calls correct. This one and the Tim Anderson ejection that we will show next they will tell him he got them both right. I wish that the public got to see that, but instead we're stuck with computer graphics that are inaccurate and we think it's the real thing when they're wrong. And Tony said, I don't think they were. And Tony's right based on our strike zone. Again, your strike zone is wrong. You gotta go out there and sometimes when something's on your mind, go out there, you get rung up. Doesn't really matter. That one right there, I mean, not calling that. That's what I'm sure Tony was unhappy with. LaRusso motioned like he was upset with the outside call, not the vertical call, but I digress. The point is, the computers in real time don't know what they're doing. Libka was ranked number one league-wide MLB full-timers and part-timers at calling to the computer's post-game processing. That's what the MLB really wants. They want a post-game processing call during the game, and they can't do it yet, which is why we still have humans. Anyway, moving forward. We'll be in. And uh, the comedian Jimmy Pardo, huge White Sox fan, is coming with his family. I think they are just in the process of yelling at John Lipka from the Sox dugout. He called the strike on a pitch that was a good three inches down and out of the zone. Okay, that's 100% wrong. Back at the dugout. He can throw anybody out all he wants, but he's missed a bunch of pitches tonight. Yeah, this is one of those nights where John, who normally does a nice job behind the plate, he's not having a good night. Proof. Do you have proof? Boys in the dugout were letting him know. That Tim's, wow, Tim does not think John Lipka's strike zone is very good. Tim Anderson was over four in this game, three left on base, one strikeout. Milwaukee's leading seven to nothing. When things don't go well for teams, this sort of thing happens. They rely on graphics from the computer that are wrong. Again, Lipka made the correct calls. Hate it all you want, but that's what happened. I haven't seen Tim this upset in a while, but there's been some real bad calls. Number one, if you're going to make those claims, please supply evidence. I supplied evidence. I supplied three sets of PX numbers. How about you? Second of all, you haven't seen Tim Anderson upset in long? Does 2020 ring a bell? Second base. Anderson. That's something you got to be careful. You can't afford to get thrown out of extra anything. The point I'm making is fans are easily influenced and so are players and managers and everyone else. That's just how human beings work. So when you make claims and you repeat them on air like that, you should have some evidence to back it up. 
And if you're going to make claims about unsportsmanlike conduct and ejections, I'm going to go to the tape and I'll just show what I have on it and let it speak for itself. When we found out yeah. that Tim had a right to be angry. So we'll see when the team gets back or post game or whatever it is, what exactly Lipka said that lit Tim up like that. Objection speculation. Suffice it to say, we've watched Tim since 2016, maybe once. Yeah, we we've haven't seen, seen him like no, that. We haven't seen, we haven't seen something like this.